for our blind date with cookbook, our household ended up picking the uh, book that was wrapped and labeled Greek cooking. Uh, it turned out to be this International Gourmet Greek Cooking Cookbook. Uh, and we had decided to make lamb kebabs from the cookbook, which uh, without even planning to, ended up being the cover photo here on the front of the cookbook. So here's the recipe. Um, you know, famously lambs, uh, uh, lamb kebabs are not a vegetarian dish. What do you mean you don't eat no meat? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I make lamb. Come. 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 So the ingredients that we have assembled here for the lamb include olive oil, uh, lemon juice, dried oregano, garlic, pepper, uh, some chunks of lamb. We ended up getting lamb stew meat from Hy-Vee. Uh, some bay leaves, uh, some for crumblings, and some for putting on whole on skewers, and some lemons. So the first ingredient for this is the you're making the marinade, and you're going to use three tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, all the ingredients I measure out here are a bit short of that because I didn't have quite enough lamb to make a full recipe. The next ingredient is the lemon juice. You're going to uh, juice a lemon. Uh, you're going to need about three tablespoons, which is is around the juice of one lemon. Uh, I measured it out here. Then also you're going to need two teaspoons of dried oregano. If you prefer, you can use fresh thyme, two tablespoons of that. Uh, we ended up just using the dried oregano we had on hand. And then garlic. Uh, it called for one garlic clove. I used a couple because they were smaller. Um, peeled and crushed, just crushed with the side of a knife uh, is what I used just to get the flavor uh, released into the marinade. So I combined those all together. Also some uh, a good amount of healthy, uh, a healthy amount of fresh ground pepper. And then I beat it all up here. And then next, uh, I'm going to, as you see, I take this, pour this over the lamb chunks in a Ziploc bag, uh, take the Ziploc bag, sort of um, massage it around, push the air out, and put it in the fridge for a couple of hours, um, turning about halfway through just to get the marinade all sort of over the meat. Uh, and then, you know, you have a couple hours to kill, so you can do something like the Zorba the Greek dance. Or you can do what I did, which was just to make some accompaniments, like I prepared a Greek salad dressing from the cookbook, uh, as well as some tzatziki sauce um, and other items. So after the two hours, you take the lamb out, you turn your oven to broil, and then you're going to uh, skewer lamb onto some skewers. It makes about four skewers, it says. Uh, I found that these were pretty... Um, this was a little less lamb than it called for, uh, yet this was pretty crowded, so you could probably make more than four skewers. Um, here I used wood skewers, so make sure you soak those for 10 minutes. Uh, and you can see as I'm putting these on the skewers that our Corgi Ruthie is ever hopeful that something will fall. So you're going to skewer the lamb with uh, a few bay leaves skewered onto to each as well. And then you're going to put it under the broiler. Uh, actually, the cookbook recommended using a hot grill for about five minutes. That would be traditional uh, charcoal grills. However, being January, I decided not to do that. Just use the broiler function of the oven. I did about 10 minutes. Uh, used some of the extra marinade um, in between turning the, the skewers about every two minutes. And then you come out with these beautiful delicious lamb skewers um you know sort of simple clean taste really really tasty though great with uh some pita some tzatziki some cucumber we also pulled out some um hummus and uh made some salad with a greek dressing uh, and, and so that is the suvlakia lamb kebabs from the international gourmet greek cooking uh, i highly recommend it. it was a tasty dish um simple uh and still very very yummy um served with pita and just some lemon is what the book recommends